Having a productivity YouTube channel, I've reviewed dozens of note-taking apps over the last five or 10 years, and these are my three favorite note-taking apps in 2024. First up is Apple Note. So Apple Note wins in terms of simplicity. There's really no note-taking app, in my opinion, that is as simple and easy to use as Apple Note. And this is why I use Apple Note and another note-taking app that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later on. But the reason why I use Note is it's so good for when you're in a meeting and you really quickly, within like one or two seconds, need to pull up a note-taking app to very quickly jot some notes down. And for me, Apple Note is best for that. One of the main reasons why why Apple Note is so fast is because of hot corner here. So I just moved my cursor to the top left and you can change this in the settings to any corner, but I like the top left. And then I can click here and I've got a new note and that literally takes what, half a second, maybe a second. So while I'm in a meeting and I haven't got a notepad up, it just takes me a second or two and then I can start writing notes. And that's literally what happened when I was in a management meeting just one hour ago. And I didn't think that I needed to take notes, but as it turns out, I did need to take notes. And so here are the notes. It wasn't a business meeting. It was about cats around the apartment and having a kind of a humane strategy to keep the numbers down. But um, that's a, a great example of literally just an hour ago where I used this hot corner feature to pull up notes really quickly. The search feature is also really nice. So what you'll see here is it looks a bit messy, right? because I don't organize my notes. The reason why I don't organize my notes is because the search feature is so good. So I'll just search, let's say I want to find when I had a uh, meeting with Kelly and here I find the meeting. So not only is the heading searchable, but also the text in the note is also searchable. Apple Notes also has a scan feature on the iPhone. So when I want to scan a PDF, I can do, and then it gets transferred straight over to Apple Notes. And I like that feature because for many other apps, you have to pay for that feature. It's behind a paywall, but with Apple Notes, it's completely free. And also I can access Apple Notes on my laptop, on my iPad, on my phone, so it all syncs automatically. And that's really important for me because sometimes in a meeting, I'm taking notes on my phone and then obviously those notes then sync to my MacBook and then my iPad if I need to access them there. So just very convenient and easy to use. So I do recommend Apple Notes. It's one of my favorite note-taking apps for sure. The next note-taking app that I really recommend is Notion. Now Notion is almost the complete opposite to Apple Notes in that it's very complex, at least compared to Apple Notes, in that it just seems to want to do everything. And that is a blessing and a curse at the same time. In terms of note-taking, if I really want to jot down something really quickly, I probably won't open Notion, I'll probably open Apple Notes. But I do still use um, Notion for notes. So you can see here, I've got short-term notes and I have long-term notes here. So the short-term notes are, well, like for example, if I have some questions, if I have proposals, a lot of these are Zoom calls or coffee meetings. You can see here I have a meeting with a lawyer. I have questions for Stuart. I don't even remember who Stuart is. Hustle pivot. I've got a lot of different meetings here. So for example, a list of brands. I have a list of brands here. I, again, I don't even know what these are for, but I just keep them just in case I need them in the future. And if I scroll down here and I need to take quick notes, let's say I have a Zoom meeting with Bob, then I can start taking notes here. And then I can close the toggle so the page doesn't go on forever. So that's my short term notes. But one thing that I do like Notion for when it comes to notes is my long term notes. So my long term notes is a little bit more structured, I guess. So I'll, I've got coffee shops and lunch spots here. The reason is because I have coffee meetings relatively often. And if someone says to me, do you want to go to coffee? And then they will ask what coffee shop? And then instead of having to, it's all about systemizing things, right? Instead of having to think of something off the top of my head, I just open this and, okay, District 2, I've got a few here, District 7, I've got some there, Empire City, I've got some there. It's really just about processing, right? Then same with street food, I've got some uh, nice street food, some restaurants that I have been to and recommend, some bars. There's not that many because <laughs> I don't go out that much. And then I go down here, I've got some hidden info here, which I'm not going to go through. I've got countries I visited, but this is quite interesting, my luggage list. So literally tomorrow morning, I'm flying to Thailand 
and this is so helpful. So I've got a pack. It's 7.21 p.m. now, so I've got a few more stuff to do. So about 9 p.m. I'm packing for my 9 a.m. flight tomorrow morning. And the reason why it doesn't take me that long to pack is because I've systemized the process. I have everything that I would ever need to when I travel. So I take out my luggage and I literally just go through the list. And so I put my laptop in there, I put my Apple Watch charger, my mouse, and I just go and tick them. And it means that I almost never forget anything when it comes to packing. And if I don't need something, then I will drag it over to the don't pack list. But if I do need something, let's say I need shower, shampoo, conditioner, and facial wash, I don't normally bring that because hotels almost always have it. So, but if I did need it, I could put it there. And so those are my notes on Notion, short-term notes and long-term notes. However, I have found something that I like even more than Notion, and that is called AppFlowy. So AppFlowy is almost like Notion, but in my opinion, it's just a little bit more easier to use. But also, and this is something that I feel like more products and more tools should implement, is that you achieve more without losing control of your data. It's built for people that really value their privacy. And also, it is, in my opinion, more aesthetic than Notion. I think that's more of a personal preference, but uh, I'll show you and you tell me. So you can see here, ask AI to unblock your work, find answers and get inspiration. You can get rid of blank pages, improving writing and brainstorm ideas, all without switching tools, and never write progress updates again. And one of the USPs, if you like, the unique selling points is that they really focus on design language and make it look nice, which to me, is something that I appreciate. So let's go over to my app flow and see what it does. So this is my task list. So I have a daily task list and every single day, my task list will look like, well, I don't wanna move everything over, but it will look like everything is in the to-do list. So every single morning, all of these blocks will be in the to-do column. And what I like about that is it makes it very clear to me what tasks I need to do that day. It's very visual and you can see here, it's 7.25 p.m. I did say that I do have a couple more things to do before I can start packing for my trip tomorrow. So I have these things, filming 2x videos, which one of them is I'm filming right now, optimize another video, reach out to someone at HRS, which is a conference that I'm going to in a few days, onboard Mads, which is a new client, and try out AI. So after I film this video, I will move this, actually this should be in doing, and then I'll move it to done. So you can see here that I have a very kind of visual representation of what tasks I need to do. And I think that's important because a lot of procrastination stems from either not knowing what to do or having too many things to do and you don't really know what to do. So this is a really nice way of doing things. It does help me become significantly more productive compared with if I didn't have a daily task list. So I really like that. The second thing is a project tracker. So one of the projects that I've got going right now is I'm launching an academy and I'm working with a couple of other people. And when you're collaborating in a team, it's really important after every meeting, let's say you have weekly meetings, it's really important that actionable items are delegated to each individual person. And that task is written out clearly for everyone to see. So there's accountability there, right? So for example, one of my tasks, you can see it's assigned to me, is to discuss with a web designer by mid next week. It's in progress, about 75% done. This was from a meeting on September the 4th and the due date was yesterday. I have been very busy because, I, like I said, I am traveling tomorrow and I've been running on all cylinders the last week. It really has been hectic. Um, but hopefully tomorrow at the airport, I'll be able to focus on a couple of my tasks. But I really like the simplicity of AppFlowy and how aesthetic it looks. I like the colors and it's just very simple to use. So this is my YouTube schedule. Again, AppFlowy is all about streamlining your workflow. So these are all the YouTube videos that I am working on. So you can see the process It's kind of like a factory line, I guess. So you've got the idea stage where I haven't actually started them yet. They're just in the idea stage. Then I'm in the writing stage, then the filming stage, then the editing, reviewing, optimizing schedule. And so let's say I'm filming this video 
once I filmed it, I pass it on to the editors and it goes over there. And I've shared this document with my editors, with my thumbnail designers and project manager, the person who uploads and optimizes the videos. And it's very easy, you just share and you've got this link here. Or you can export as a C CSV file, which is quite nice. And then these are all the videos that are already live. Very simple, but it really does work. And I've been using this kind of system of ideas, writing, filming, editing, reviewing, optimizing, like a production line. I've been using this system for years and I've not really had to change it because it works. Next, we've got the social media calendar. Honestly, there's not much to show here because we haven't started our social media campaign yet, but once we do, we'll be filling this in and we also have our meeting notes as well. So I have a Monday morning management meeting every week and these are the notes that we take. So this was yesterday, yesterday morning. If I open it up, we have the notes all with titles and toggles just to keep it clean. So you can see here, agenda for DC. This is DC, DC is a conference that I'll be going to in a couple of days. And there's just some notes that we jotted down and people to connect with while we are over there. And then improve deck for next conference. Just some notes, you probably don't need to see these, but you get the idea of how we manage notes. And what I like about this is while we're in the meeting, I can also use AI to come up with new ideas. For example, I just press slash and I go AI writer, give me three ways to grow my business. Let's say, and then generate. And then it's going to be, give me three ideas. Now, I wouldn't ask that prompt specifically. I think with AI, the more specific, the more concise your prompts are, the better the results you, you will get. But it's just an example of while you're in the meeting, you can just ask AI to kind of generate ideas, which I think is really helpful. And it's all very customizable as well. You can change the fonts, you can change the colors, you can change the headings. And it is very compatible with mobile, which Notion is terrible on both phone and iPad. Not only that, but you can also access AppFlowy completely offline if you wish. But my favorite, favorite feature is by far templates. I almost never start a page from scratch. I always open up the templates. So you can see here, these templates are by Airtable, by AppFlowy, by Notion, by Robin, founder of Cherrywood Software. So let's say I want to find a template to take down my lecture notes. So I would type in, let's say class notes. And here's, a, here's one. So I can preview it. And if I like it, I can press start with this template, go to general, add, and then I have my class notes right here. And obviously I would modify these columns and then I can open these and take notes. So each of these can be a lecture. And what's also nice is that if I take notes here, these notes will sync with my other devices as well. If my app flow is on my phone or my iPad, I can access these notes on any device that I have. So if you do want to check app Flowy out for yourself, like I said, I really do recommend you do. I'm liking it a lot more than Notion. I just like the simplicity and the aesthetics. I know I've repeated myself a lot, but I do think that it's a really nice user interface, which matters to me. I'll drop a link in the description below if you do want to check them out. And if you like this video, you can watch this video right here or this video right there because if you like this you're gonna love those.